Well, with the lockdowns and people wearing masks during the pandemic, there was almost no flu season and no RSV, a virus that can be serious for infants. But as CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us, RSV is now making a comeback out of season. RSV stands for respiratory syncytial virus, a respiratory virus that's normally seen mostly in the winter and usually just causes cold-like symptoms. But for some toddlers and infants... And the virus can track down to the lower lungs. Um, we know children that have heart or lung uh, disease or uh, were born prematurely are more susceptible to that. But you know, RSV does cause about 60,000 hospitalizations a year in children less than two years of age throughout the United States. Dr. Jennifer Leiter, pediatric epidemiologist at NYU Langone Health, says the New York area saw an out-of-normal season peak in RSV about a month ago, ahead of an outbreak that's happening in southern states right now. In both cases, the likely culprit is... Physical distancing and mask wearing and everybody, you know, was using the hand sanitizer, so there, there was a blocked transmission of respiratory viruses. So when the restrictions were lifted, there was an opportunity for transmission. The spike in the South led the CDC to issue an alert for doctors to watch for RSV, especially if a child tests negative for COVID. There's no effective treatment for RSV, but if a child is having difficulty breathing, get them to a doctor or hospital right away. There is a preventive medication that can be given to high-risk children, but it's very expensive and only covered by insurance during the winter. After Dr. Leiter alerted the state health department of the late-breaking spike in RSV, the state extended its recommendation to cover the drug till the end of June. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.